And when Hannah uh, prayed to the Lord for a child, and she, the Bible said in verse uh, chapter 1 of 1 Samuel, verse 10, and she was in bitterness of soul and prayed unto the Lord and wept sore. And she vowed a vow and said, O Lord of hosts, if thou wilt indeed look on the affliction of thine handmaid and remember me, and not forget thine handmaid, but will give unto thine handmaid a man child, then I will give him unto the Lord all the days of his life. And there shall no razor come upon his head. And uh, so, you know, in that, in that, with that example, we give our children and dedicate them back to the Lord. They are a precious gift. And what we're doing is placing them in the hand of God. And the Bible said in Proverbs 22 and 6, Train up a child in the way he should go, and when he's old, he will not depart from it. Amen. And he will, uh, they will remember uh, that training and uh, though they may stray hopefully not but if they do then the training that they received as a child will ever be with them and always and, and never depart and when we put them in the hand of God the Bible said that nothing shall be able to pluck them out Amen. of his hand in Deuteronomy 6 we find instructions for us just one verse here in verse number 7 he said and thou shalt teach them Speaking of our children, and thou shalt teach them diligently, or te speaking of the, of the word of God and the ways of the Lord, he said, thou shalt teach them diligently unto thy children, and shalt talk of them when thou sittest in thine house, and when thou walkest by the way, and when thou liest down, and when thou risest up. Amen. Teaching those children is very important. And, uh, you know, Grace, you, you know, you've, you've got challenge ahead of you and uh i mean you got two precious children and uh you know and being a single parent is uh you know having two parents is a challenge being a single parent is even a greater challenge but you know what amen you can be an example uh, to others that that are in the same situation and i believe god will give you strength and power to overcome and like brother melvin said you've you've uh you've you've made a great choice to serve the lord and to live for god and we're so proud of you and so thankful that god has brought you back to him and uh is blessing you and uh so uh grace do you promise to raise your child according to the word of God? Do you promise to teach her about Jesus and his love? Do you promise to pray for her daily? And do you promise to bring her to the house of God regularly and be an example of, of a true worshiper? Amen. We appreciate Grace and we appreciate her parents, the grandparents of Chrislin. Uh, Brother Melvin, Sister Christy that's here, and and the other grandparents. But uh, I would like to ask Brother Melvin, Sister Christy to come this morning. And uh, our, you know, uh, I'd just like to ask you, you can be where you're at, but uh, as grandparents, do you promise to be a godly example before Chrislin? Yes, of course. And do you promise to pray for her daily? And as much as within your power to teach her about Jesus and his love. Praise the Lord. Amen. Praise the Lord. Church, we have an example as well. And I would like to ask you to stand this morning. And, uh, amen. And, and uh, all of the family is welcome to come this morning if you would like to. Amen. And stand with grace and amen. And and uh and you as well as the church. Church, do you promise to be a godly example before Christlin and his children? Yes. Do you promise to be a godly example of worship here in the house of God? Yes. Amen. Church, will you provide godly teaching and wisdom to them? Amen. Amen. Praise the Lord. Where's Creedon at? He's right. Come on, Creedon. Oh, there he is. Come on. Creedon, I want to ask you, do you love your little sister? Ain't she precious? You promise to be a good big brother to her? 
Amen. All right. Amen. We appreciate this family. We appreciate each one this morning. Amen. And let's let's have prayer this morning. Child. Lord, we pray, God, that you'd bless her, Lord. God, I pray that you'd keep your hand upon her all the days of her life, Lord. God, we place her into your hand, God, knowing that you're able, Lord, to watch over her. Lord, to protect her, God, and keep her safe from harm. To help her grow to love you and to serve you and to be a soul winner for you, Lord. God, I pray, Lord, for strength and guidance, Lord, in her life, oh God. And let your spirit, God, go with her, Lord, and keep her. We thank you for it, Lord, and we praise you for it. Lord, we love you for it, God. We pray for grace, Lord, this morning that you touch her. God, give her strength and wisdom, oh Lord, to follow your spirit, God, and to be all that you'd have her to be. Touch her, Lord, I pray. Strengthen her and encourage her and lift her up, God. Guide her path, Lord. You said the steps of a good man are ordered by you. Lord, our steps are ordered by you, and I pray that you would touch her, God, and help her to follow in your footsteps. In Jesus' name, we thank you, Lord. We praise you. Lord.